to episode 40 of the Disgaea 5 Complete LP, starting right after the end of last one. I uh, figured I would start there, that way we don't miss anything. Thanks to the hard work of the Rebel Army, the Lost Army, who were led by Demon Emperor Void Dark, was annihilated. The overlords of Netherworlds that were freed from oppression began working to rebuild their Netherworlds. But even though a great evil had been eliminated, the flames of war hadn't disappeared from the Netherworlds completely. In various Netherworlds, conflicts broke out over territory or ideologies. In order to suppress these conflicts, the Rebel Army gathered together once again. How is it going, Sir Kilia? It's just like it was before, right? Yeah, everything's the same. It feels like I'm reliving the past. I heard we were called here because of Lise. Is something wrong that she needs help with? Total Bunny has been rebuilt. So if there's anything I can do to help, then I'd like to participate, Put. No. Lise just wants to become closer friends with you. I brought her here, too. So please talk to her later. If that's the case, then, this'll be a piece of cake. I'll be super friendly. Aw, we were called so suddenly, I thought another guy like Void Dark had appeared or something. Monsters like that don't appear that often. You worry too much. The Lost were annihilated, but there are still wars going on in the Netherworlds. There are many small conflicts happening everywhere. As long as there are people suffering from conflicts, we can't just ignore them. That's why I need all of your help. Not to worry. Actually, I welcome this. I'll get more opportunities to seduce Sir Kilia into becoming mine. Sis, you still haven't given up on that? I don't mind either. Well, we can't still call ourselves a rebel army. But let's keep the spirit as a reminder of the old days. If Usalia can help those who prefer peace, then I want to, Plit. That settles it! Let's get super rowdy and have fun with everybody! Okay. And... Oh, I can use the alchemist, so before I do that... So that's how they essentially make it so like, okay, yeah, that's why everyone's together. Again. Like, not, no Void Dark. But that's why everyone's still here. Here's the Alchemist. Nice to meet you, Circa. I'm a technician who wanders the universe researching demonic alchemy. I heard that this netherworld formed an alchemy squad, so I figured I would come and help. Leave item alchemy to me. It was very nice to meet you. Okay, I thought there was a dimensional disturbance, but now it was just the arrival of some weird demon, dude. Hmm, looks like I was able to come to this era. Sup, guys? I travel by jumping through dimensions. If you guys ever thought of going back into the past, if you're ever interested, come with me. We can travel through time. I'll send you back to the past. So that's basically equip unique ability can now be suggested. Reach a mysterious netherworld can now be suggested. Restore total bunny can now be suggested. Train beyond at martial training can now be suggested. I want to learn Izuna's overload can now be suggested. Oh, freaking keys. Okay. Headlers. So this is basically just like... Uh, Actually, I want expand strategies. All out attack. That <laughs> I feel like that's a reference to Persona right there. Fight the super overload overlord. Unlock squad. Unlock squad ability squad. She chop increased by 50. So what that does, auto heal at base is now available. Uh, skip revenge effects is now available. Back to square one is now available. Obtain, okay. So we just got a lot of shit. So let's start with the cheat shop. So what that did is it basically gave me an extra 50. So what I can essentially do is now, is now this. I can now, I can now have a more than 500%. But what that also means is even if it's all upped, I can, add, I can still have it more. Everything can be above 100% now, which is really cool. Um, the alchemy shop is similar to the curry shop, I believe. Hello. Uh, I didn't really use it. Okay. So I have to go to the squad shop and sign someone. Um, yeah. Awesome. Do Doesn't matter who goes into it. Uh, organized squad. 
uh, where okay, ability squad, life support, <laughs> alchemy squad. Able to create items through alchemy. So let's just put uh, uh you're good. I'll put Austin in there. And I just want to look at the, uh, uh, the shop itself before I go into all the squad stuff. So you can probably tell, but the beginning of this one will just be going over all the shit in the in the mini netherworld. Oh, I forgot. It takes time to synthesize, so please go out and battle in the meantime. So it's another one where it's like, okay, you get this, go battle. Now, do you need my help? So read explanation. We want to know alchemy settings. So you can create rare items that you can't find otherwise at the alchemist. So you can get items that you just can't get anywhere else. Form alchemy, select alchemy setting, and set the items that you want to synthesize. The set items will be synthesized while you're in battle. The time it takes to synthesize will shorten if you have more members in the alchemy club, so look into that. So put more people in it to shorten the time. Also, the time may extend depending on the items you choose. If you try to synthesize pricey items or multiple types of items at the same time, longer it takes. So the better item or the more items or both, longer. So more battles you have to do. So it would beho behoove you to put more people in it so it's shorter. When the synthesis time takes too long, you should try setting the same type of item. What do you want? Now, receiving items. So I'll give you the items I finished when you return to the Pocket Netherworld. I can only hold 18 finished items, so please come to the Pocket Netherworld frequently. Okay, so it's pretty simple. So right now, uh, I can pick from these items that I want. And none of them are all that good. They're all pretty, uh, pretty standard items, so I'm not going to bother. But, uh, let's go talk to this guy. So, he's the time traveler, oh, sure. he's the round trap. So you came, I'm the one who travels beyond dimensions, if you wish I can take you back to the past. If you go back, you can maintain your current conditions and restart the story. It's called starting a new playthrough. You can keep all your allies and items and go back to the past. Some characters may not have been introduced yet, but don't worry about it. All right, all right. Okay, I want to journey to the past and enjoy this life a little longer. Okay. So you get to keep everyone, even though they haven't been in the story yet. So you can basically be like, oh, I'm going to have my Red Magnus beat the shit out of old Red Magnus. Uh, hey, what I'm going to do best. is uh, I'm actually going to put the star count uh, down from 13. Because what I'm going to do now, uh, before anything, because I plan on doing the strategy assembly stuff, is I'm going to receive all the content. So I'm going to receive uh, all of it. But... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in order of essentially uh, game. So go ahead and do this one because it's not even like it's not a disguise game. But I'm going to do D2 because even though it is after Disgaea 4 in release date, it uses Disgaea 1's uh, character character people. And I'm only taking them out because I don't want uh, the map to be super. Uh, like, heavy. Uh, awesome. And when I say heavy, I don't want a lot of maps clogging it, so I don't even know which one's which, unless I'm going based purely off of my ability to infer what it is. So, Alchemy Squad, Squad Limit plus one, increase the item types, another uh, item types, di double item synthesis rate. So, uh, yeah, boom. So now, uh, that's, like, really good. Uh, I'll probably be uh, grinding off-screen, capturing a bunch of high-level people so I can get them on my team and whatnot. But, uh, any other squad? So, Ability Squad. Learn Unity after 5 battles. Learn Aggression after 15 battles. Learn Match Change Reform after 30. So, uh, these are just unique abilities that people in the squad will get so long... Yeah. So long as they are in the squad. So... And it's based purely off of battle counting. So it, uh, so what you want to do there is find a battle that you can just rip through super fast. And you would also probably want it to be a battle that like you're grinding in. Uh, yeah. So the only new squads are alchemy and that until like we unlock other ones, if there are other ones. Uh, let's see if there are any new quests because it's possible that. Uh, okay. So. Okay, so these are just saying, oh, if you uh, uh, if you do these things, you'll get a lot. Um, so I'll take a few of these. 
because these aren't bad. They may, in fact, um, do other things. So, that actually... Well, sorry, done, Overlord, because you need to clear the character world of Demon Lord difficulty one time to unlock Overlord difficulty. It's not too bad. Is there any new quest for me to accept? Master Researcher. Oh, I'll take that. Maybe you're done. Yeah, I have a lot more than 35 Netherworlds. And it's just giving me a shit ton of money. And I got Harbinger. But no idea what that is. So, uh, clear stage, powerful target stage where it all began. So if you think you could handle it, then accept my challenge. If you can complete it, then I'll give you permission. Mysterious Demon Window. So that also seems uh, interesting. Uh, and what? let's check the research to see where it's at before I do the events. Uh, so those are all ongoing and whatnot. And uh, before I do the events, let's go to the alchemy because uh, now I would presume I could do better things. So I can, I can now make a lot of stuff. So let's go into here. So food, I can make curry soup. Uh, rather good items. Mana potions, XP potions, uh, XP potions, more. Uh, Soma, I can make that. Um, yeah, so it's actually pretty good. And then you have all the attack items that I never use ever. Uh, but then you can also make gold bars and stuff like this, which are used in the item assembly, which are really good. Because these angel cake and gold bars, it's like every single person in the uh, thing. Love it. And these are item worlders. Or just general ones, depending. Uh, where this lets you leave, this jumps you five floors if you use it. And this is... These items are like, okay, I have this item that I don't really want to waste the time to go through all the floors, even though I'm losing item level, I believe. But the characters lower down are stronger, and this is how you get to, like, the end of, the, like, the last level of an item. At least that's how I understand it. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to synthesize some, I don't know, some Angel's Cake Gold Bars. And you can only do one of each. You can't do multiple. Um, and I'll do a, uh, a Diver 10. Because I've never gotten a Diver 10. Um, and I would like to get some people so I can put them in the squads. Because I want, uh, now I, what I want to do is I want to fill up the squads. Because squads that aren't filled are rather pointless. Uh, but let's check my classes. So he almost has finished Magic Knight. So I can get the max class of that. She is on the last star of Lay Samurai. Almost done with Rabbit. Uh, um, like pretty close to Dark Knight. On the last star of Martial Artist. Almost on the last star of Magician. Uh, and I haven't been using her all that much, but Sage is a really good class, from what I understand. So I probably, uh, what I might do is after uh, he's done with Magic Knight, which I could probably just grind out, uh, I'm gonna put Sage on him. Um, yeah. So let's go, let's, let's talk. Uh, so Sarkelia. And, uh, Necessary Crab. As he was really way too blunt, Seraphine assists. Seraphina, great timing, can you do me a favor? Uh, you want a favor? Could it be? Uh, ba dump ba dump. Uh, oh, are you gonna ask for like some loving stuff? Uh, sorry to get you interrupted, but you get excited, but it's not what you think. Could you stop interrupting the imagination of an innocent girl? Innocent, uh, you admit that you're imagining. I was thinking about getting Lise a gift since it was my fault she suffered so much. But I don't know why I should give her, that would make her happy. <laughs> oh yeah, that, it's kind of a douche thing because like he knows that she is attracted to him, but it's like, oh yeah, can you help me with my girl? <laughs> you gotta ask me that, please, Serafina. Could you help me pick out a gift? And like, yeah, yeah, of course I'm gonna help you because you no, know, I can't turn down a favor. That she refused, but she agreed to do it after all. Is there a catch? <laughs> but in exchange, here it comes. On Rot 14th, you have to get me a more expensive gift than that. So that's probably like a Valentine's Day White Day thing, where in Japan, Valentine's Day, unlike in America, is essentially where only girls really give chocolate to the guy she likes. 
or just a gift. And on White Day, the guy is expected to give back something of like three times the value. Uh, rot 14th, but this is, it's because her, it's her birthday. So, and Rot is probably just a month in the demon like calendar. All right, I promise, then we have a deal. That's okay, that's how you pick out a gift for Lisa. Yeah, thanks, Seraphina. Is he really okay with making a promise like that? Uh, money? No, even if he had a bunch of lives, it still wouldn't be enough. Okay. So another conversation. What I do want to show is something that I remembered. So, Lise is here. <laughs> she is... Uh, she is just here. She is the Demon Fist daughter. She is level one. And is essentially absolute crap. She is like the weakest person in the netherworld. As, uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna ask her to wear it again because why not? But I'm just saying, by see, but oh, no. you can talk to these. So every from everyone from the rebel army is very unique and funny. I can still feel a little awkward, but I feel like I can become friends with everyone. I wasn't worried about that at all. I knew you could get along with these guys just fine. If you need anything, please tell me. Since I couldn't be of much help, I want to do all that I can to help you now. Yes, thank you, Killian. <laughs> I do like her voice lines. Uh, okay. So, okay. time to go into the assembly. Because I still have a shit ton of mana. <laughs> uh, let's have Zero can go through. So, I want to equip unique ability. So, okay. Fight the super overlord. I restore Toto Bunny. I reach some mysterious netherworld. I want to train beyond at martial training. So, these ones I believe are post game maps and stuff and I'm trying to decide whether I want to do the DLC first or do the post game stuff first but I believe what I'm going to do see I'm wondering if I do this I wonder if it gets rid of the overload I have now but I don't know so what I will do is I will do equip unique abilities uh, just for the sake of it and holy crap oh my god like they're not high level just a bunch of them. Oh, whatever. I'm up for a fight. Oh, yeah. Get ready to die, you guys. Oh, man. I could pay up. And that's not even a lot of money. I have. But, uh... Oh, I kind of want to pay up just to get through it. Because they're only asking for one million, and I have six hundred twenty-three. Yeah, I'll pay up. Oh, what? You. God damn it! I guess I hit the wrong button or something. Let's go, guys. I wanted to let you live, and I was planning on letting you live, but then you had to go and ruin it with weird things, and I can't capture you. Okay. Oh well. Didn't really expect to be able to capture you, but I wanted to see just in case. Hey, just in case, you can just take these senators prisoner. Leave it to me, Blitz. Okay. Let's go. Where's Kevin? Let's go. 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 let us go 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 let us Unique ability. 
has been unlocked. And I'm wondering if I... Okay. Wait. Do I have to do it for every person? Ah, uh, that's so annoying. Ah. Uh. Okay. Um, I'm wondering what that means. So, new nether a new netherworld was discovered. Oh, okay. So let's go into Zorokin. Uh, Zorokin ability. Oh, okay. That's cool. It gives you another unique ability slot. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And that's why it gives you all the options to learn the overload skills of uh, those people. So, let's go to ability, twin heads, decrease stats of adjacent female units, increase chance to inflict ailments. Uh, won't perform a throw without moving, it will not cast action. That's actually pretty good. Decrease stats of enemy units on the map by 5%, that's also good. Uh, increase stats by bonus gauge level times 5%. That's also not bad at all. I think she has like a plus 5% gain at this point. That's actually pretty damn good. Um, so let's do another event. Okay, alright, Killer, you promised you'd go on with me after you defeat the Void Dark, remember? Uh, haven't I fulfilled that promise many times? <laughs> You've had 30 fights to kill you, 129s, and there was that one draw. <laughs> so Killia has just mopped the floor of the Red Madness. And the draw was because you said your muscles were sore or some other stupid reason, so it was ruled as a no contest. Huh? I don't super remember anything like that. What a happy brain you have, which forgets things that at the moment they become inconvenient. <laughs> so Red Magnus is essentially a bitch compared to Kilia. It's no use? Alright, but this is the last time. Alright, a man never goes back on his word. Yeah, have I heard that line like 20 times? <laughs> Shut up, spectators need to keep it down. Alright, come out with everything you got from the beginning, or you're gonna regret it. That's just what I was super planning to do, Super Universe. Finish it quick like always, bro. It's okay, if you don't wanna fight him again, I could use my better gaze to make that muscle head quit. No, don't do anything. Alright, ultimate demon technique, ultimate skill. I won't let you use the I won't let you use the move. Uh, this power. I can't afford to lose all the time. I'm gonna finish this. Super universe times ten! Yeah. No way, did Ragnus, Red Magnus just defeat bro? That can't be, he must have cheated. Yes. Yes, I finally feed Achillea. Now I can claim the test strongest overlord. Woohoo! And then he runs off. So Achillea, I, Serafina, will avenge you. Wait, don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> what? Bro, are you telling me that Red Magnus effect attack isn't effective at all? That's not nice. Why did you act like you lost? I wasn't acting. He actually is a great guy. He's been working hard. And not just for his own netherworld, but for others too. He really is the strongest overlord. Okay. Oh my god! So many... Things. Ugh. Okay. You know, I'm gonna initiate this one by talking to Lisa because I want to talk to Main Girl. To get Maid, stop. Okay, so you get the girl chapter. Uh, Lisa, have you gotten used to life aboard my pocket netherworld? Uh, yes, I'm really thankful that you even prepared a room for me. Oh, uh -huh, don't worry. It's crude. It's a crude single room, not unlike a doghouse. But I'm glad you like it. Serafina, you're spitting out Venom, Flip. Oh yes, you forgot something in the room you lent me. They might be important to you, so I want to return them. Forgot? That's weird. I don't recall leaving anything. Here you go. Serafina, it's a surveillance bug and a spy cam. <laughs> oh, oh, please. What strange things are you trying to say, Salia? Muffle, muffle. <laughs> the premium must have slacked off when they were cleaning it out and forgot to grab these. Don't worry, I'll punch them later. Oh, oh, oh. please don't worry about it. Please excuse me. <laughs> so Seraphina tried to spy on... <laughs> spy on Lise. And Lise just being like, Oh yeah, you forgot these things. And I'm not sure if she even had any, like, negative intent to it. She knows my traps. Lisa Rota is a formidable opponent. Muffle, muffle, muffle. Drop. <sighs> so she just asph asphyxiated her. God, so many... Things to talk! And Krista's getting a call, presumably from a superior, who you still don't know the face of. Hello, hello, long time no see, Christo. Have you grown accustomed to the netherworlds? Yeah, well, I'm fine. Anyway, you're working hard. Anyway, you're working hard, Christo. I thought you were just gonna give up and come back to Celestia right away. Share faith in your subordinate. Yeah, you've grown a lot and you have earned my trust. So, 
Can you look up? Can you look up to us then? It should be like give and take. What kind of theory is that? First of all, you guys have nothing worthy of looking up to. It's impossible. Denied. You're so cruel, Christo. If you say things like that, it'll affect your promotions. Can I borrow that for a sec? Uh, what are you doing? I'm still talking. I'm very curious about who you're always talking to. Wow, Seraphina, you just snatched his cell phone. That's something you saw you could never do, Plip. Um, hello. Thank you for holding. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Huh? My, I didn't expect Krista to have a past like that. Huh? What? Ah, oh, shit. I understand. No, no, please excuse me. Please calm down. I promise I'll keep it a secret. All right, I beg your pardon. <laughs> secret? What secret? Seraphina, what was that all about, Plip? Christo, you've been through a lot. I can only watch over you, but please be strong. <laughs> wait, 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 you're scared me. What did he tell you? Oh, that's fine. Oh my god, so much talking. I haven't even fought one battle, and I refuse to leave the netherworld until it's all done. Oh my god, another one. Just another one. It's delicious. I'm really happy that you like it, Cliff. Okay, so he's eating Usali as homemade curry, probably. So what's going on? You're yelling like a brainless ogre. You have no class at all. Looks like Osala's curry making skills have improved again. You used cassowary broth. It's hard to maintain its flavor with all the other spices. No, they haven't, Plip. I'm not that great yet. So being super humble. If I remember correctly, Circulia was teaching you. Perhaps I would like Circulia to teach me how to cook step by step. Ha! <laughs> he can't even he can't guarantee results. Silence. Anyway, this curry is super delicious. It might even be better than Kilia's. Can't trust that pretty tongue of yours, Sally. May I have some too? Yes, Flip. Oh my god, okay. Reading, reading, reading. My voice is oh, so bad. This flavor. Do you think Sally's curry is better than mine? Huh? No, I I like Sir Kilia curry. Oh. Then let's have a championship match to use curry as the super best. Flip? And fade away. And the winner is. Lise. Of course it's Lise. Because Lise taught Kilia and Kilia taught Usalia, so she's the headmaster. Um, I'm honored. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> oh my god! It's broken! <laughs> Bro! Run it up. Don't jump on me like that. I always attacked you instinctively. I'll just fight back. I would have super fought back, even if I knew it was zero. <laughs> I have no desire to see anyone jump on me, so I must agree with Red Magnus. <laughs> My brother's nothing like you guys. C can you give me some space first? <laughs> Oops, my bad. I actually have a favor to ask you. Care to hear it? Where is it? Can you teach me the ultimate demon technique, final skill, and ultimate skill? That's super sudden. <laughs> Sorokin, as the master of Goldion's Dojo, don't you think you should learn them by yourself? I did want to learn them on my own, but my pupils are growing abnormally fast. <laughs> You should be happy about that. You've been quite a teacher. I don't have time to be happy. At this rate, they'll surpass me any time now. And then, I'll be in danger of losing my title of Sensei. So you just want them to look up to you and call you Sensei? You won't be able to master the ultimate demon technique with that kind of heart. You should just go train yourself at your dojo. Come on, please, bro. Alright, Zero, before those kids get any more powerful, I'm gonna challenge your dojo. Please don't do anything excessive, old man. Oh my god, and this one's a full squatter, probably. Holy shite. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go to the recruiter. And, I don't know. Let's... Um... Wait, I can just... Oh, I think if the person is on the final thing that they will just inherently have it, maybe? But what about the, uh... Um, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You. By sword playing magic to find an enemy's weak spot. So I guess if I unlock the final star, unless there, unless it moves it over to get another star, as long as I get someone onto it, I'll be able to make it, which is kind of cool. Um. Uh. Jian. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Boom. Uh, I'll make you, holy shit, 34 million to get her at a genius level from the get-go. I'll just go with Distinguish. I don't really plan on using her, but whatever. Uh, 
Okay, it'll take, it'll take 38 to get her to... Um, 220. That's fine. Um... My strategy. Huh. My strategy. Huh. 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 I'll go with calm. Um, extra colors. Extra colors aren't bad, but you know, I've worked hard to get to Space Knight, so let's just go with that. Boom. Piano was created. I only made her because I want to put her in. Because we're going to need to get people in squads awesome. anyway. So might as well. To, to break the monotony of me reading things. Uh, and I want her to uh, be in ones that will just essentially help. Not ones uh, like this. Like this is a good one. But I also want to have someone in the alchemy squad to make things go faster. Because I want to essentially fill out... Uh, capture isn't too big. Interrogation, I want that filled. Innocent aid, I want that filled. Uh, skill training isn't really a big one. Uh, boot camp, also not a big one. In fact, boot camp is one that I'm going to be like using main characters in. Re relief squad, that's not big. Not big. This one is pretty big. I want this one to be filled. Uh, this one doesn't need to have anyone. I want this one filled. Uh, this one can be filled. It's not bad. Uh, this one can also get filled. This one doesn't need to be. This one doesn't need to be, because able to earn XP and mana without battling. That's not bad, but I don't need it. I want this one to be filled. Uh, I want this one to be filled, because even though it boosts members' Kara world stats by plus 2%, uh, it does affect everybody, like... Even if Kelia goes in at three worlds, uh, three times, I get, get an ability. So I believe if I just put more people in it, it'll just help in general. So I want that one filled. I want this one filled. Because uh, I feel if you just have more people, it'll increase the speed. Uh, ability squad. This is one where I would probably want my main characters in it. Although I'm not sure how good the, uh, the abilities are. Uh... And that one needs to be filled. Figured I'll just go through that to give a insight. And let's begin this one by talking to Lise, because, you know, whenever possible, right? And I do like Lise's design. Like, with the lion tail, and her hair is, like, really full, like a lion mane. But then she just... Yeah. And, like... I don't know, I just really like it. Yeah. Long time to see everyone. You may already know me, but please let me reintroduce myself. My name is Lisa Rhoda. I was born in Flowerful, and Killian and I are like family. I'd like to become friends with all of you. Please take good care, Killian. Nice to meet you. Killian has helped me great. I feel like this should be a, should have been the first one. Uh, I helped her greatly. Uh, you must be Lulu Salia. Killian told me all about you. I'm good at cooking, so let's make some delicious curry sometime. Without the carrots, of course. Uh, yes, I'm looking forward to that clip. Although, you can use carrots, because the curse isn't on her now. Hey, hey, what about me? What did bro say about me? <laughs> that you're really interjecting someone who is easily flattered. Aw. Oh, shatter. <laughs> Come on, bro. Also, that you're a hard worker, and you're more devoted to the ultimate demon technique than anyone. Thank you for idolizing, father. <laughs> I knew bro knows me so well. You're the best, bro. I heard that Christo is a very smart ain I mean demon, so told told her that he he is an angel and not a demon. Ahaha, uh -huh, thank you. He said that Red Magnus is a little reckless, but he's actually really kind and he's a big hearted overlord. I heard that you were like the old Kilia, but you're not what I imagined. Well haha, -huh, I don't really understand what you've said, but don't compliment me so much, you're making me blush. One of the few times where he was actually complimented. <laughs> Serafina? The biggest distance between them. And I do like the way that the character plaques are uh, aligned is the order in which they joined your team. Uh, yes. Lise, I'm going to ask you straight up, how do you feel about Circalia? Uh, wait, did did Zerokin join after Usalia? Yeah, he did. He did. He had to. Uh, Lise, I'm going to ask you straight up, how do you feel about Circalia? Hey, 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 Sarah, you're voluntarily stepping on a landmine there. He's right, sis, you shouldn't ask something like that. 
Silence, I need to clear up these types of things right away or I won't feel right. How I feel about Kelia? Why, I like him, of course. Plip? You say that so casually. Serafina, you might have something against me, but I want us to be friends. It would make me sad if someone who fought alongside Kelia hated me. Tch, what a convenient point. Serafina. Whatever, I'll accept you for now. Welcome to my pocket netherworld. Thank you very much, Serafina. She's gotta be up to soup or something. She's a precious person to bro. If we don't protect her, I don't know what sis will do to her. Ha ha ha, no way. Serafina wouldn't. Actually, she would. We need to be raided or someone might die. Yeah, that really feels like the first one. Like the first. like, thing that you're supposed to do. Not. Like, it just feels weird, but I feel like that really, because the one where she gives her the bugs and whatnot, feels like that should have come after that. After the introductions and stuff. Uh, okay. This is it. So interrogation. Can't interrogate or make anyone citizens. Uh, solicit. Try to solicit. You can turn a prisoner into a, but you can only make prisoners who are already in the recruiter an ally. So be careful. If you have too many allies, you can't make more. In that case, go to the recruiter and dismiss an ally. Okay. Uh, I'm not too worried about uh, getting characters right now because I'm going to get be getting all the DLC. So then after that, I can figure out uh, allies and whatnot. Uh, but that just that uh, brings up a lot of good things that I was confused about prior. Okay. So I'm going to save after all that so I don't have to skip through it all again. Uh, and... Might as well just start at the beginning, at the top, and go through. Okay. So. Where would you like to go, dude? Sele please select where you'd like to go. So, we have Crazy Overlord, home of an overlord, obsessed with power, seeking worthy opponents, and the legend begins. All great achievements start somewhere, let's celebrate this start. And then the quest I got for Flowerful. Um, so this one is the Prier fight, or uh, the non Disgaea character, and this is Disgaea D2, because the legend begins, has the OG characters. So let's do this one. Uh, Dancing Diva. Like birds, like, uh, like birds fly in the sky, like fish swim in the sea, demons seek power. The proof of their existence to fight never ends for those enticed by power. Like a ship with its more cut, they continuously drift, seeking strong opponents in big nether worlds. Holy shit, that's so fast. <laughs> Just a little more. Who is it? I have to turn off Oscar, it's going too fast. What do you want? <laughs> attacks. What are you trying to do? Oh, more, more, more people. You don't want to talk, then don't take it personal. I'll make you talk. Okay, so this one just throws you into a fight. And I put down the stars because I wasn't sure where the enemies would be in the DLC at post game, but it does seem like they are uh, like normal level because the uh, main game would have ended in approximately like the 100 range. So, I'm actually just going to capture these people. All men are because my servants. I need to capture them anyway to uh, I'm going increase uh, the squad levels. And I know that these guys aren't like, super anymore. high level. But I figure I might as well do it while I can. <laughs> Just take every opportunity. Don't get super reckless. Yeah, and then I would get... And she is super. Uh, what's her aptitude? So she likes swords. I can give her a sword. Let's um, over a Lion King's Mighty Edge. Shield. Uh, I can give her. I don't want to waste an accelerator on her. I'll give her an angel shield. And then. Uh, 
I'll give her... Uh, I'll give her a star muscle. Why not? Doesn't matter. Give her more health. Uh, but I'm not even gonna use her, so let's end her. Slime cheer. Slime cheer. by capturing every enemy. You okay? I do not want to skip the demo. And I had to I had to turn off auto scroll because I just can't talk that fast. Uh, you tried to ambush me, but that's all you've got. What are you trying to accomplish? Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Hey, why don't you say anything? I'm sorry for the suddenness, Pooh. I was testing your skills, Pooh. God, yeah, testing my skills at level 100. Testing, what do you mean? A demon recently came to our netherworld looking for strong ones, Oink. Muscles! Uh, she's been annoying, telling us to bring someone strong. Here I go! But no one in another world can defeat her, Pooh. She just beat everyone down. Uh, she's that strong. <sighs> please, think of, it, think of it as helping us. Can you come with us, Oink, please? I have no choice. What do you want me to do? Thank you very much, Oink. We'll contact you later. Please come to the location we tell you to, Oink. Strong ones, huh? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave. I'm going to put up the star count. Okay, we got uh, one of them that's Game's complete. The I don't care about one. Um, boink. I'm going to go up to... Let's go up to... Let's go up to 12. Because even after I see like the go, character, uh, as I learned, I believe it's not even going to be at the level I'm fighting at currently. <laughs> Crazy Overlord, Blazing Spear. <sighs> My god. Uh, so this is the place. Uh, mister. Sorry for making you wait, Wank. Now over here, Overlord Prier is waiting. What is this? Muscle protection! Where Overlord Pierre trains. The walls collapse in time, so please be careful. Ha! Ah. And then just dot to dot, silence. You must be Kilia. These guys told me, uh, told me about you. You're weak. Hmm. Hmm. You got a great look in your eyes. Uh, it's been a while since I've met anyone who isn't afraid of me on sight. Why are you staying in this netherworld? Don't you want to fight some fight strong ones? I don't think you'll find any here. Looks like you heard the gist of my situation. As you said, my wish is to fight someone strong. I came here because I heard there are a lot of strong foes. There aren't any worthy opponents back in my world. Mm. Look at this. The demons in this netherworld are all tough. This demon saw as soon as they find I won't the lose! I can't get stronger facing these guys. I want to fight more. I have to get even stronger. Well, ranting about how weak these guys are doesn't help, plus they're helpful in other ways. Like Lurin Prey, like me, how many people have you defeated using this tactic? Mm. I don't know. Not one of them is even worth remembering. I think it's time. Okay. Mm. Now let the battle begin. I hope this fight will be memorable. So time to fight against... DLC character. Okay, so let's see. So she's level 432. Okay, got some decent health and whatnot. And Priya, other overlord. <laughs> uh, so she has Testament, Oversmock, Abilities, Bundle Tech. Increased damage dealt by empty panels in the attack range times 10%. Okay, so that basically is like have a really long, have a, oh yeah, have moves that have high. These are overchange moves, but have moves that have high hitboxes and then only hit one person in them. Uh, to make them stronger. Okay. Prayer's form after falling to darkness. She travels the netherworlds for strong opponents. Her busty body is dangerous. After uh, and she is a monster character, so she has a magic change. And that's an axe, apparently. That staff. Uh, and overload extreme Mardok. After defeating an enemy, take another action with decreased stats for one turn. Uh, I wonder if you could just keep it, like, chained. Uh, and that's it. Let's go! Uh, that's unfortunately a, uh, 
I'll get super reckless. Oh. I'm not an angel. Let's go. What up? Okay, just gonna go right there. Uh, macrocosm. Because yeah, I, I, I can take him out. Take her out with only kill ya. Especially based on the stat differential. It's my turn. But I may just do this anyway. Uh, yeah. Oh man. Uh, and after I get all the DLC characters, I might just uh, have a like, DLC character like move exp like uh, just show all the moves and whatnot. Because I don't, I'm not sure how uh, if I plan to use the DLC characters very much. I mean, there are a few that I really like, but otherwise. Might not. Uh, it might not be very like, important for me to get them. They're more. They're more squad based. Let me thank you. Okay. Oh, even yeah. harder. I forgot yeah. that she was within range. <laughs> Let me thank you. Yeah. Okay. And that's good. Oh gosh, just a basic okay? accelerator. That's good. No, I do not want to skip the demo. Okay, so apparently that was a tough fight. Huff, huff, I think I did it. Get ready. Hooray, mister, you beat Prayer Poo. Way to go. And there, hi. Wait. Bam. You're weak. Ha 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 ha. I haven't gotten this pumped up in a while. You're excellent, Kelia. You're weak. I want to fight with you more, but only when you're in your best condition. When you're prepared, come back. <clears throat> I don't care if you try to run away, but you know what'll happen if you do, right? Okay, so she pieced out, essentially to make a third fight. Will I be able to defeat her again? The demon known as Prier. Fight results. Okay, so... Okay. The only reason I'm returning back every time is Let's because, uh... You up. I want to see whether or not, like, oh, a new statistician was born, enjoy. or stuff. I do want to check their... Uh, progress though. Okay, none of them have reached max level. Uh, because it, when they reach max level, I want to fuse them with a different one. That way they can continue. Where would growing. you like to go, dude? Uh, okay. So after I finish, after I get a prayer on my team, finish the DLC, I'm gonna end this episode because we're running the first half hour of it was you're just. Me. You're finally, no, you're finally here. Then let's get started first half hour of it was literally just me doing all the events, going through, sh going through shit. Tell me one thing, why do you fight? Seek power? Huh? What do you mean why? Power is what demons seek. Power is proof of my existence. To prove my powers, I exist to fight. No, power is a method. It's not an objective. A person should get stronger to protect others or to accomplish something. <clears throat> hmm, that's what it means to you. Is that because you have someone to protect or something to accomplish? Thought. I see. You still have those. I understand what you're trying to say. I was like that in the beginning, too. In the beginning? That's right. To get stronger for more important reasons. That's how I thought in the beginning. I'm not that smart, so I figured that if I just got stronger, I wouldn't lose to anything. As it turns out, you need great motivation to do things for others, but it can, hap it, but it can make miracles happen. From the bottom of my heart, I believed in that spark, that light from a person. That's what I believed. Kill you. Can you still believe in that light? You look like you've had you look like you've had experience with that too. <clears throat> now the worlds aren't made from kindness. When confronted with real power, you don't stand a chance protecting others. After all, it all comes down to power. Without it, you can't protect a single thing. It'll all be taken from you. You couldn't forget it, right? There's no way you can. I sought power to get back everything I had. I wasn't going to lose to anyone. I didn't want to lose anything more. Then, I gained the power of an overlord. I gained the power that took everything away from me. But I still couldn't save anything. I was left with nothing. Except for one thing. This power. This overwhelming power that ruins everything. I am this power. Using it proves that I exist. 
Fair, you. You're weak. Haha, uh -huh, I'm just kidding. That's just an excuse so we can have a good civil fight. The reason doesn't matter anymore, I just want to fight. You're weak. Now, let's get to it. So, the reason why I do all the DLC now is because let's go. of the difference in Kilia's, like, person. Holy shit. Um... Um... Just gonna, I'm just gonna give up because I'm not gonna be able to do that. It's the cheat um, shop. Let's put that down. And Where would you like in. to go, dude? No crazy overlord. This time we can skip the demo. Let's go. Let's check her out now. Okay, now she's just level 150. Holy shit, that was... That was scary. Neil. Let's go, go, go! Huh. I'm just popping everyone out, because... Uh, mm. Extreme Mardog, so if she defeats an enemy, she'll be able... Well, she won't be able to. Mm. Stuff is so high. Like I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I'm going for it. Quite literally, it would have been pointless if I didn't try. Unfortunately, I put it down like really low, so it's, it's really easy. I I had no idea when in the Star Gauges it made uh, a certain thing happen when the stats boosted super fucking hard. That's that's not enough. Let's keep fighting. Kerr, she's strong. I can't fight any longer, but I can't leave Pierre like this. Kelia, let's go. Kerr, ga. Pierre. I want to lose to far. Hmm, how unfortunate. How are your injuries? They're alright, don't worry about it, but I owe you thanks. On the other hand, I'm surprised you can still move. You're all worn out. My body moved instinctively. Hmm, really? For other people, huh? Do you say something? It's nothing, I was just talking to myself. <clears throat> By the way, we didn't finish our fight. I was so close to defeating you. Well, you had no choice. You're all torn up. No excuses. What should I do? Ah. Ah. Alright, I've decided I'll protect you from now on. I don't want you to lose to anyone. You can fight me anytime. Plus, I'll find lots of opponents with you. It's like killing two birds with one stone. No, it's not. So let's keep it up, Gilia. Overlord Pierre became an ally. Good. Yeah, alright. Now that that's settled, we need to go greet everyone in this nether world. You're weak. Is there anyone who can excite me? I feel like her and Red Magnus would get along really well. Dude! <laughs> yeah, what's going on, dude? Just fighting prennies. Is this really okay? Okay. Holy shit. So we just got Overlord Pierre at level 100. So, rather, rather weak. Um, but that's neither awesome. here nor there. So let's. I definitely need someone in the, like, I need to fill out the Dark Assembly Squad. That's not, I'm not letting that stand, like, to be open. 
episode 40 here because this episode was pretty long for what it was worth so i hope you all have a very nice day